Hey guys, this is Spencer from Buildapreneur, and today we're going to talk about how to run ads on Google, also known as AdWords. Okay, and this is, uh, I spend a ton of money on AdWords every day. I'm in AdWords all day, every day almost, uh, and I'm really excited to hopefully get you on the same page as me. We're going to just build an ad right on the spot. You're just going to watch my screen. I'm going to build an ad. It's going to be a very basic ad. Um, AdWords is vastly complicated. You could spend hundreds of hours trying to figure every little thing out that it can do, which is awesome, but also really hard if you're brand new and trying to figure out how to get started. So this is going to be a get started video. We're just going to build an ad that you can mimic and follow, and then I'm going to refer you at the end to places you can go if you really want to learn this stuff, which I would highly recommend you do. Okay, so hopefully you have an AdWords account. If not, <clears throat> adwords.google.com, head over there, sign up for an account, and you're gonna end up on a page like this. Um, your page will be missing a lot of this blurred content and some of these numbers won't be there and stuff. You'll have a blank slate of just a page ready to go. You're gonna wanna go to uh, campaigns right here, the campaigns tab, and you're gonna click plus. Now, it might, <clears throat> if you have no campaigns at all, it actually might start you saying, let's create a new campaign. So you might be able to skip all these steps. So we'll click new campaign. Okay, now there's all these different options for campaigns, right? Google's just, they're all over the internet. They can advertise on other people's websites. They can advertise videos and YouTube and all kinds of things. <clears throat> We're just gonna start with search, right? We wanna have a video that shows up when people search for things. Okay, now there's three options you can do. You can tell Google that you want sales. You can tell Google that you want leads or you want people with like phone numbers and things that you can reach out to. Or you just say, I want website traffic. I wanna send people to my website. Um, sales and leads are awesome and probably the best way to go, but for now we're gonna just do website traffic because for sales and leads it gets a lot more complicated. So right now we're just gonna focus on I wanna send people that are looking for my stuff to my website, okay? We're gonna click website traffic. Okay, and then we're gonna give our business. My business is buildapreneur.com. Continue. Campaign name. So this is where we basically decide what it is, what are we trying to sell typically. So uh, for this example, we're going to pretend that I'm selling a course on how to do AdWords. Trippy, right? Uh, but that's, let's pretend that's my product and that's what I'm selling. So let's say AdWords course. That's what this whole campaign is revolving around me um, getting people to buy my AdWords course, okay? Now when it asks search network here, and it has this button pre-selected, that basically asks, um, do you want to advertise on some of Google's partners as well, like Bing and Yahoo and some of those other search engines? I always start by saying no. In the beginning, we're just gonna focus on Google alone, and uh, we're gonna focus on one small area. So as you scroll down, it, you can advertise to the whole world or whatnot. I would start with just kind of like a really targeted market for you. So if you're in France, probably start with France. If you're in the US, start in the US. So we can grow from there, but in the beginning, let's start with that. All right, <clears throat> language, that's pretty obvious. Budget, now it's important to know your daily budget is basically you telling Google, this is how much I'm gonna let you spend a day. And Google will do everything in its power to spend that money, okay? So um, be careful in the beginning. Don't throw $1,000 at it. It'll, it'll spend $1,000. Um, I usually start with 10, 15, 20 dollars when I'm first starting and while I'm tweaking things and kind of seeing what works and what doesn't. So let's say 20. What do you want to focus on? In this kind of campaign, we just focus on clicks. We want to focus on people clicking that are searching for the stuff and heading to our website. Okay, now here's where it gets a little more complicated. It says, how do you want to get clicks? So you can set bids and tell Google, I'm willing to give you a dollar for every person that's looking for my product and clicks. That's one way. Typically in the beginning, you're going to want to go with automatically maximize clicks, which basically tells Google, I'm going to give you $20. That's my budget. And I'm going to let you figure out exactly how to make it all work so that I'll get the most people searching for my product clicking over to my page every day. Okay, so it's an algorithm and Google will do the work. Eventually, you might want to start manually setting saying, ah, for this keyword, I'm willing to give Google, you know, 35 cents. For this keyword, I'm willing to give Google like $5. Um, but for now, we'll just go on automatically maximize clicks. Okay, now it says, what's the most you're willing to spend on a click? Your maximum cost per click. You don't have to do this, but I usually do. Um, a good example of this, so let's say, let's say I sell my course for like $15, right? Um, and I know that about, let's say I know that like half the people that come to my page usually end up buying the course. <clears throat> well, that means I'm probably not willing to spend more than $8. Don't ever, you know, I'm not ever willing to spend more than $8 for someone to click over to my site. You don't have to do this, but I usually do just to kind of chop off the top liars. Okay. We'll keep going. You can set dates. Um, I usually leave, leave it open in the back end. We're going to ignore site link extensions for now. Um, basically, you only use those if you're running branded searches, meaning people are searching for your exact 
company already. Um, and call out extensions, we're not going to talk about, but you can you can look if you want to see those. Once again, we're just doing a very simple ad. And then call extensions. If you need a phone number, meaning that you're running an ad to something that people call in for, then you want to add a phone number there. So, for example, if you're a local business, you would have set your location here to your you know your localized area, your zip code or your city or whatnot, and then you would have put your phone number right there for the ad. Next, it's going to take you to this page that calls for ad groups. Okay, so it's important to understand what an ad group and an ad is. So an ad is what you actually see when someone searches, right? If I if I got on here and I said buy a printer, I'm going to see ads here. You see this is an ad, this is an ad, this is an ad, and this is an ad, buy a printer. So that's what an ad is. Um, but before you create ads, you actually create ad groups. And that's a group of three or four ads that are basically <clears throat> we're all gonna, that are targeting a very very similar intent. Okay? Intent meaning what is that person looking for when they google it? And what I mean by that is, let's say I Google printers here, okay? I'm gonna get a bunch of ads that talk about printers. Lowest prices, printers and accessories, printers and Amazon, the real focus here is printers, right? But let's say I typed in color printers. Now I've gotten more specific, right? Color printers. So we want our ad to now talk about color printers, not just printers, we wanna talk about color printers. And so those would be two separate ad groups, if that makes sense, okay? Okay, so because you see here color printer, <clears throat> color printer, they get ads focused on color printers. Color laser, color printer, color printers. And when they type in printers, they just get ads about printers. And the reason that it's working that way is because ad groups have been created based on what people are looking for. So for my product, we're gonna start with just one ad group. You can create a bunch of different ones. So for example, <clears throat> one ad group I could make could be how to advertise in AdWords. Okay, I'll make I'll make a few ads around that. But another one I could do could be <clears throat> how to advertise on Google. And they're obviously looking for the same thing, but, the, but in their mind they might be different, right? So I want to target the people that are saying how to advertise in AdWords with an ad that says how to advertise in AdWords. And I want to target the people that say how to advertise on Google with an ad that says how to advertise on Google. So they're both getting exactly what they're looking for and they're much more likely to click our ads. So let's start that. Ad group one, Google. People looking for how to advertise on Google. Uh, advertise on Google. Okay. Very, very important now is you identify keywords, which is basically what are people looking for that you want your ad to show up for? You know, is it printers? Is it color printers? What are they looking for? What, what kind of things are they typing? And it'll give you some ideas here as we go. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with, I'm going to go look for ideas. I'm going to say how to advertise on Google. Okay, I'm going to click tab and then it's going to give me some ideas right here. Google AdWords, AdWords, Google AdSense, Google Advertising, Google Add-ons. What is Google AdWords? Google Ads. So millions of different things here, right? But none of these people are currently looking for how to run ads on Google. Mm -hmm. How do Google Ads work? That could be one that I want to run to. Anyway, that's just ideas. <clears throat> so this is where you add the actual keywords and, and in the beginning, just for the sake of this teeny little video here, we're going to put everything in brackets like this. You see that little bracket right there? And the reason for that is this. If I don't put brackets and someone and I typed in just how to run ads in Google. Well, Google's not actually going to go just for that single keyword if I type it in that way. Google's going to take that word and it's going to look for a thousand other words just like that, like how to run ads in AdWords, how to run ads in Google, it might even throw up when someone just types in the word Google, it might show up your ad. Um, it's gonna take that phrase you've typed in and it's gonna try to find every other phrase that's kind of like it that's out there. And it's gonna try to make your ad show up on those, okay? And that can be a bad idea, especially in the beginning. Like your ad can be showing up for all kinds of keywords that you don't want to pay for people to click on your ad for. So when we put brackets around it, what we're basically telling Google, I only want you to put my ad in front of people that search for that exact phrase. And in the beginning, and especially for the, the sake of this really simple video, whoop, that's what we want. We just, you know, we want our basic keywords, the ones we know are big, and we're gonna go for those. And there's all kinds of strategies you can use here as you slowly start to learn it, but for the sake of this basic video, we're not gonna talk about those. So how to run ads in Google? Um, running ads in Google. How to how to run Google Ads. See how these are all kind of similar? These are all phrases that I want. 
And there's, there's a bunch of different ways we can communicate to Google what we want and what we don't want to show up for. Um, but in the beginning, this is what we're going to talk about. Okay, so now we've got three keywords, meaning I'm gonna get, we're going to tell Google, I'm going to give you some ads, a group of ads, and these are the keywords that I want to show up for. Okay. Save and continue. Or we can add another ad group. For example, we talked about AdWords, um, one that says how to run ads in AdWords. We can add that ad group if you want. But we're just going to click Save and Continue for now. It says, okay, now what ads do you want us to, to try out? Now, these are the actual things that we see here, okay? And what it's going to do is this ad group that we just created, it's going to rotate through those ads in the beginning. So I'm going to make two ads, and it's going to go back and forth and show those ads back and forth to people. And it's going to figure out which ad is better, which ad people like more and are more likely to click. And we're going to be able to then take that and, um, and improve our ads, right? We're going to be able to see which ads are best. So we're going to create two ads in this ad group to start. I'm going to say new ad. And it's going to preview the ad right here, right? You get a final URL. So let's say my URL was buildapreneur.com slash AdWords course. Okay. And then the headline is learn how to advertise on Google. Oh, and you see it's telling me it's too long. So I can just say learn to advertise on Google. Perfect for beginners. See that right there? It's, it's showing me right there. Now display path is basically, you see how it says buildapreneur.com right there? We can actually try to make that look a little more appealing. So if someone's looking for an AdWords course, right, I can actually make it say AdWords course right there. I get that and it shows up like that. So now someone that's looking is like, oh, I'm looking for an AdWords course or I could say Google, probably in this one I'd say Google ads course, right? <clears throat> Buildpreneur.com slash Google ads slash course. And so people are like, oh yeah, that's just what I'm looking for. Sweet. And then you get a description, which is that little part right there. And you see as you're just going down and it's building the ad right there in front of you so you know exactly what you're doing. Um, it's telling you what the limits are and everything. Um, get access to our highly sought after, sought after ad or course on Google ads taught by experts. Okay, just an example of something you could say. Okay, and then we click save and continue. And it's gonna say, you... oh, and I, sorry, I clicked it twice, so we passed that, but you can create two ads that are very similar, and basically you're just gonna change something in one of the ads so that you can then see what does better. So probably in the beginning, you're gonna change your headline, that, that main phrase that we did, and you're gonna say, you're gonna have two ads running in this ad group with two different headlines, and you'll see which one gets more clicks. And then you can turn off the one that doesn't and focus on the one that does. Okay, it's going to give you a quick overview. Okay, so no end date starting right now. You're willing to spend 20 bucks a day. You want us to focus on getting as much clicks as possible to your website, um, which means your goal is website traffic. And I can peek and review some of this stuff if I want. Here's the ad that I'm going to show. Um, here's my single ad group, and you can hopefully you've created two, maybe three of those based on the intent of your of the people that are that are um, looking for your products. And there's my keywords. I've put them in brackets so it means it can only show up if people type in those exact phrases. Okay, we're going to click continue the campaign and I'm not going to click that because I actually have nothing to run to here and so it would not work. But you click continue the campaign and then what's going to happen is uh, Google is going to review it. They want to make sure you're not sending people to, you know, spammy sites or um, pornography sites or anything crazy like that. And uh, once they review it, they're going to approve it. it usually takes just a few hours, um, sometimes up to a day. And then your ads will be live, and I'll show you what that looks like as well. Okay, I've got two ad groups. I can click into an ad group and see my ads, or see my keywords, sorry. These are all the keywords I'm running to in this one. And finally, you can see your ads right here in this ads column. And as you can see, I've got a few ads running. Okay, so that's that. So that's how you start by running ads in AdWords. Obviously, there's a lot more to it. You're probably looking and saying, well, there's 100,000 more options there. Yes, there is. This is a basic ad that you want to get started with if you're just trying to run a simple ad to a simple place, um, <clears throat> you know, just getting it up and running. However, there's obviously a lot more than that, and there's access to that. Um, there's a course that I took where I learned all of this, 
it cost me fifteen dollars okay and I learned how to run AdWords ads that have made me thousands and thousands of dollars very very worth the cost uh, I've included a link so you can just head over to that link if you're interested in the course and uh, if you're not you know more power to you you can keep watching YouTube and things like that um, but like I said this course to me changed uh, everything for me and taught me exactly how to really crush it on AdWords. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, go ahead and slap subscribe down below if you like this. I, I put videos out on how to market your product all day, every day. Tons of videos on how to get going marketing. If you're selling anything, I promise you these videos will help you. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you later.